Hej, jag vill tipsa om diktsamlingen The Mirror of My Heart, A Thousand Years of Persian Poetry by Women. Det är en tvåspråkig upplaga på persiska och engelska. Den tar sin början på 1000-talet och sträcker sig fram till idag. Den sista poeten som finns representerad är Fatima Ektesari, född 1986 i norra Iran. Fatima utbildade sig till barnmorska. På universitetet i Iran började hon intressera sig för litteratur. Efter en poesifestival i Göteborg 2013 blev hon vid återkomsten till Iran häktad och senare dömd till 99 fiskrapp och 11 års fängelse. Hon flydde illegalt från Iran och bor numera i Lillehammer i Norge. Vi ska nu höra henne läsa en av sina dikter. Hello to all friends. I'm very happy to be with you today. And what better excuse than poetry day to be together, especially when that day is the first day of the spring. In my country, Iran, the poetry day coincides with the celebration of uh, the new year. And for this reason, literary ceremonies, events are not usually held on this day because everyone is celebrating the new year. But for me, poetry and literature are bigger and more important than all uh, occasions and celebrations. It somehow makes up whole of my life and it's not an exaggeration when I say whole my life. Because for years I have devoted almost all my day and night to literature and art. All my friends are artists or uh, are interested in art. Even the bad things that uh, have happened in my life are related with literature and art. I was, prisoned, I was imprisoned uh, several times in Iran for reciting poetry, sentenced to uh, 11 and a half years in prison and 99 lashes, and uh, finally forced to flee the country that I love. So look, my life is intertwined with literature. Uh, I can talk hours about Poetry Day and uh, myself, but uh, I always prefer to fo focus on art and literature instead of talking about the art and literature because uh, I always prefer text to the margin. While I was in Iran, many of my friends went to cafes and I spent hours discussing literary issues, but I prefer to sit at home, read books, watch movies, and, uh, more, uh, and uh, most importantly, write poetry and stories. Uh, so I feel uh, all these uh, debates and rhetorics are going to lead to the art and literature. So why not just uh, read some poems in a state of uh, talking about this? Yes, yes, at Madare Rasgera, Maxam of Horde. حاملم کرده توشلم شوربایی که پخته برام مثل یه فاهشه ولم کرده یه هنرمند یه سلبریتی واسم امزا زده روی شکمم بعد سلفی گرفته با اشکام بعد بوسه گذاشته روی قمم چپا ریختن سرم که سخت کنم داس و چک کش به زندگی میزنن پلاکاردای دستشون خونی روش نوشتن اونام شبیه منن فمینیستا مقاله دادن که کرده یک فعل مرد سالاره توب توی مغز سکس محور مرد مغز نیست که فقط لجنزاره دنیا شوب آی سلیت خانوم زندگیت خوبه مامانم میگه بذار اسمش رو نازنین زهرا گرد و خاکت رو کردی بس دیگه من یه نقاشیم یه گردالی زن بی دست و پای هر نقشه مثل یه لکه خون تو
توی توالت مثل ایران مات در نقشه مرسی Tack så mycket Fatima för att du ville fira världspoesidagen med oss och att du delar med dig lite grann av ditt liv och din poesi till oss här i Norrköping. Nu ska vi höra en engelsk version av dikten. I was not up and made pregnant by a right-wing political bore. When the dust had settled he left me as if I were a whore. An artist signed my belly. He was a real celebrity. He took a selfie with my tears, planted a kiss on my misery. The leftists shouted, abort it. Their hammer and sickle attacked me. The placards in their bloody hands went claiming that they backed me. The feminists gave me an essay about what some big shot has done. Spit on his sex of the obsessed mind, not a mind but a pond full of scum. Hey bitch, the world's in an uproar. My mom declares, your life's okay. Call her Nazanin Zara. But you're a disgrace. Enough is enough, I say. I'm a painting a ditch. The woman in each picture, more or less, like a spot of blood on the to- in the toilet, like Iran on the map, colorless.